Let's not bullshit ourselves about this past week's NXT. It was all about Kevin Owens versus Samoa Joe. That's why everybody was going to tune in to watch on the WWE Network. That's most certainly the thing I was looking forward to on this. It was Kevin Owens versus Samoa Joe. What was going to happen? How were they going to execute it? So on and so forth. Hey, looking at the way this show was put together, written, and produced this week, it felt like the company itself was acknowledging that, hey, we ain't got shit else for you except Kevin Owens versus Samoa Joe. I mean, it, it, that's the way it really felt. There really wasn't a whole lot to have on this week's NXT. And, you know, there's not really a whole lot of point of talking about much else other than that. It really isn't. I mean, you had the six-person mixed tag, and that was what it was. I really didn't care. I like the fact that they were trying to give you some background with that Finn Balor segment talking about where he's come from, his journey, his path, and everything else. I respect that. I appreciate that. And I can understand the thought process behind doing that. The problem is, though, is that I don't see where it's really tying in to the Finn Balor character or the fact that he's maybe supposed to be some type of split personality with the face paint versus non-face paint and so on and so forth, being a conflicted soul, the inner demon and all of that, I don't see where any of that played into anything. And that's the problem to me with Finn Balor, as I'll talk about again, is once you get past the body and face paint and the entrance, you've got nothing. And you could talk about this Japan shit and blow it out your fucking ass based off of what I've seen in NXT. I see a less than 200-pound guy who doesn't exactly have chart-topping charisma, not exactly very good on the microphone, whose matches, frankly, haven't been all that compelling to me, that literally once I sit there and I see the entrance at the big shows and I see his body paint, I'm like, that's all I need to see because the rest of it is just a waste of time. And to me, they need to be doing more to establish what they're going for with Finn Balor as a character. The background stuff is nice. The journey stuff always plays well. But I don't think it plays well for this character and what they need to do with this character. And then I see Charlotte taking out, was it uh, Cassie or somebody? And it doesn't fucking matter. I look at Charlotte and I'm like, you know, she's main roster ready, but she's kind of stuck in purgatory there on the River Styx because, you know, yeah, on the one hand, she's ready, but would you want to go? Yeah, you get more TV exposure, more money. But from a career standpoint, I mean, that's a problem for you know, a lot of you will talk about the NXT 4. You think the NXT 4 will be something great and tremendous once they get up to the WWE's main roster? What the fuck are you smoking? It doesn't matter. You all thought the same shit about AJ Lee, who, mind you, by the way, so many of you love so much that you couldn't even be bothered to vote for her to win that women's season of NXT. You thought Paige would be this great game changer. She ain't shit. So it's like I sit there and look at Charlotte, and it's like it's good for what it is in terms of uh, the NXT show, but she she doesn't have a lot to do left on the NXT show. I also don't want to see her go to Raw where she's just going to be fucking criminally misused and wasted. And that's a fact. But anyways, we get to Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe, the only thing that really fucking mattered on this week's show. Um, heading into this, I wasn't really a fan of them doing this so soon. I thought this could have used more time to build to. I thought the build to it could have been better. Um, you know, maybe tie in to the fact that some people actually recognize Samoa Joe uh, and incorporate him into the Kevin Owens John Cena program. Or at least, if anything else, when Owens is bragging about on Raw, you know, maybe putting out somebody like a John Cena, have a Samoa Joe appear. You know, and tease it there. And then funnel the fans towards the network in NXT. Don't have Kevin Owens wrestle with Dolph Ziggler or any fucking buddy else. You know, the only person he should be touching right now is John Cena at this level and freaking Samoa Joe at the NXT level. They could have tied into it, cross-promoted, God forbid, much better than they did. Um, like I said, you know, these guys just had their face off a couple of weeks ago and were already jumping into the first match. Just because you can do it that soon doesn't mean that you should do it that soon. And even with the setup of the show this week and the way it was produced and pieced together, I thought they really missed here. 
And some of that time they wasted with matches or that, frankly, that Finn Balor video segment, they should have been segments, you know, devoted to talking about Samoa Joe's background, perhaps, talking about Kevin Owens' background, you know, having interviews with both of these guys, potentially having them rub shoulders or face off behind, behind the, um, behind the ramp or something before the match even happens. Any number of things they could have done to set up better to this match uh, that was going to main event the show. That was the funneling point of everything this week because it was, frankly, the only thing that we were going to give a fuck about and the only thing, frankly, that the WWE NXT team was going to give a fuck about. So I thought they dropped the ball here on several different levels. And then we get to the actual match itself. And this shit was stupid. It's Kevin Owens. It's fucking Samoa Joe. Again, just because you can have the match this soon doesn't mean you should. And as I talked about last year with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, just because you can have the match doesn't mean you should. And if you can go without having the match at all, then that's the direction and path with which to go down. You didn't need to have several minutes of stupid fucking wrestling at this point in time between Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. No, you didn't. It was stupid. Because these two guys are supposed to really hate each other. They're supposed to have this animosity. You're building up Kevin Owens as this big prize fighter type of guy. You're presenting and packaging Samoa Joe as this big fight type of prize fighter type of guy. Then have them act like big fight prize fighter type of guys. If you are actually going to bother with having them have some type of match, then it should be everything other than a fucking wrestling match. This should be a brawl. This should be a street fight to where the bell doesn't fucking ring. Or if it does, they're both using weapons on each other. They're getting freaking DQ'd. And there you go. Or you could sit there and have a Kevin Owens come out, and then instead of Samoa Joe coming out, he says, I've got something else for you, and out comes fucking John Cena back from his injuries, and then again, there you fucking go. Yeah, it's only a few days, you know, yeah, I get what you're saying, but again, there's many different things that they could have done here. But most importantly of all, similar to what happened with Ambrose and Rollins last year, as I talked about, and I was harping for before that show, was that, you need to sell certain things about this rivalry, and it doesn't need to feel like every other fucking rivalry in the company. And therefore, as a result, the best way to do that is by them not having a pure match at all. Just have them brawl and fucking go all shit shitsos. And that's exactly what should have happened here with Kevin Owens versus Samoa Joe. From the jump, one of them jumps the other on the ramp. They don't even fucking bother. They start fighting backstage, and it spills out to the ring area. They go through the crowd. They go through fucking security. They go through the other boys and girls. They go fighting right out of the fucking Full Sail Arena. Instead, what do you get? A few minutes of, frankly, kind of semi-lame-ass wrestling, and then these two fatties are sitting there freaking throwing half-ass Matt Morgan-style haymakers on each other. It looked terrible. This is supposed to be a big money fight. This is supposed to be an attention grabbing rivalry. And instead these guys are throwing sweet potatoes at 50% velocity that are hardly connecting with each other. It looks like shit. Understand professional wrestling, sports entertainment is scripted. It's planned out. It's mapped out. And many of the things that we see, we understand, are scripted, mapped out, planned out. So every once in a while, it's nice and okay to have something that doesn't feel that fucking way. But instead, that's exactly what the fuck NXT gave us this week. They gave us more of the same old bullshit. A few minutes of this, and there's a fucking ref bump, and then they're DQ'd, and oh my god, here comes more refs to kind of fucking break them up. Yeah, because that shit ever worked to fucking begin with. Then we'll bring out some of these jobbers you haven't seen yet on NXT as security people, because that's going to sit there. And you know when the crowd's booing at the end? They should be booing at the end. They're probably booing because they're saying, let them fight, let them fight. No, they should be booing because this was horse shit. This was absolute horse shit. For those of you that praise NXT like it's the greatest fucking thing ever, they do a pretty good job with their two-hour specials. There's no question about that. They do a consistently good job of at least delivering a solid show, if not a very, very good show. Uh, but their, their television, so to speak, on a week-in, week-out basis, needs a lot of work. If this is the future of the WWE, how fucking lame is the future of this company going forward? 
They have good ideas for characters. Sometimes they have good ideas for stories, too. But the execution with the characters, the execution for the stories, the execution of the production of the show is sorely lacking. It's sorely lacking. I can't tell you how disappointed I was and fucking annoyed I was that this is what I got for Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. I think everybody knew this was going to be a wishy-washy finish. I don't have an issue with it being a wishy-washy finish. I would have booked a wishy-washy finish. But there are so many different avenues to go down for that wishy-washy finish that would have fucking worked a whole lot better than this lame-ass, scripted-looking bullshit that we fucking got. This was terrible. This was the only thing that mattered on this show, and the only thing that mattered absolutely sucked and was a big-time letdown and complete fucking annoyance to me. Let's hope at some point in time, if and when they go back to Kevin Owens versus Samoa Joe, they actually figure it out, and they piece it together much better than this. And this was dumb. This was just horseshit. Therefore, making this entire hour of NXT this week horseshit.